Okay, so I figured I'd do a weekend update. Um, it's finally March. Temperatures are a little warmer over here. I want to start with the blueberry cuttings. Um, so all these are hardwood hardwood cuttings taken late January. There's a, uh, a park, a Tacoma Park, um, <clears throat> which is free to the public. And normally they just... Uh, take hedge clippers to all the blueberry plants. They have about 300 or so. So I went there late January and just took a bunch of cuttings. <clears throat> I did do something wrong. I rubbed off the flower buds because um, I thought that would grow. Um, <clears throat> I guess I rubbed off the buds. I thought that would help uh, make the roots better. But apparently you're supposed to leave those, which I did on some of them. So if you see those buds, which, you know, look like that, or like that one, uh, now those are the flowers, and the flowers are needed, well, I guess maybe they're not needed, um, to grow roots, so, um, th these are just placed in sand, and I'll water them, you know, once a day, if it hasn't rained at all, um, but these have been in here since January, I guess, uh, these ones are in pots, <clears throat> There's about 50 that have leafed out. Uh, this one right here actually has some growth on it. So maybe in a few weeks I'll, I'll take a few out to see if the roots are growing. Um, this one's doing pretty good. And this was in like a peat soil mix that I just had laying around. <clears throat> so that's also working good too. Um... I have a grape here. It was a grape that I had that really was not working good. Um, and some other random things that are probably dead. These are from some evergreens. Probably should have left some, uh, some leaves on the top of that one. Uh, just kind of experimenting with everything. Uh, these are some raspberries. Looks like they're growing, so that's good. Um, but the next update on these, hopefully we'll have roots everywhere. <clears throat> um, so I'll switch over to, uh, strawberries. Okay, so here's the strawberries in the back. Take a video of that. Um, but they're in a, a heavily mulched bed. I spread out some compost last week, just on the top. Um, there's coffee grounds, you know, deep under here, kind of in the trench in the front. So I'm hoping that'll help a lot with getting fertility and soil building, uh, which will help with the strawberries. <clears throat> but these ones, uh, the flowers, these are what actually turn into a strawberry. You see here, there's one. Um... But these strawberries are all clones. I started them and then they, they'll send out little runners. And you can put a pot full of dirt and stick that runner in there. And you can make as many as you want. Usually that happens, I think it happens in summer. Um, so these ones are in the back. They don't get as much sun. We'll probably get half a day's worth of sun. And uh, it seems like strawberries need a lot of sun. Um, these are new TriStar. Um, ever bearing strawberries so these are supposed to produce as long as there's uh, enough sun and everything all year long or all summer long um, these ones might produce you know a couple couple times during the year or during the summer um, so hopefully these new ones these are from rain tree nursery and apparently they're the most popular <coughs> strawberries that you can get um, they're pretty cheap. You can get 25 for, I don't know, probably $15 shipped to your door. Um, so those, we'll see how those do. I'll go to the next spot. So, two pieces of wood, but this is going to be the uh, soft wood uh, propagation bed. And uh, basically it's probably going to be 8 feet by 2 or 3 feet. And it's going to be, um, there's going to be coarse sand in there. It's about six inches tall. Um, these are just 
two by six by eights from Home Depot. You can probably get probably four dollars a board. <clears throat> um, but I've also ordered a irrigation controller, um, some misters, and um, a valve, um, which will let me. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so the valve will let me control when the water turns on and off. Um, the controller will be set. It's uh, basically the plants will need to be misted every, you know, 10 minutes or so for just a couple seconds. Because when you do cuttings, um, they don't have any roots, so they can't absorb water through their roots. It's through their leaves. Um, so I'll be showing the setup of this in the next week or two. Okay, so apple plants, uh, apple trees, still got plenty to give away, probably I don't know, 50 or so. Um, if you're watching this video and you come, you know, I'll give you more than two, that's for sure. Uh, just let me know what you need. Um, I did pull this out of a bed yesterday, it's probably a native uh, evergreen of some sort. Uh, so that was just in our front bed that we fixed up. Okay, and these are the strawberries on the south side of the house. They probably get the most sun possible. Um, I did move three strawberry plants yesterday that were just growing in the back, and they seem to be doing fine. Um, so we've already got strawberries, because these ones um, get way more sun than everything else. So I find that when the strawberries are dry, or maybe you can... <clears throat> put them up on a leaf or something. Um, they usually do better because they're not touching the soil. Um, I have in the past gotten pests that will eat these, so we'll see how they do this year. Um, but yeah, these are heavily mulched. There's a ton of coffee grounds beneath this. Uh, this is all coffee ground compost, so we'll see how they do this year. Um, that's it for the weekend update. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably have more free plants in the next few weeks, so stay subscribed.